Hey YouTube. So I got you again with the title. I know, I know. It's kind of catchy. It's kind of catchy. I know. But um, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Michaela Pink and I am a very unconventional life coach, dating coach, whatever you want to call me. Um, I talk to ladies all day, every day about relationships, about how to get quality men and how to make their pretty work for them. So that's what I do. So if you clicked on this video, you want to know what my job is, don't ya? You want to know what I do for a living. If you want to find out how I have a job, but it's not on Indeed.com, keep watching because you just might learn something. Okay, so like I said, I do have a job and it is not on Indeed.com. I have several jobs actually. So what I mean by that is, so I have boyfriends, I have male friends, I have companions who take care of me and they do it very well. Some may say that that's being a sugar baby, um, but I personally don't call myself a sugar baby. I do have um, some gentlemen who I am dating, but um, I am not dating anyone exclusively as of right now. So that's what I'm doing. And um, just in case you didn't know, that is certainly a full-time job. And let me explain how, because I know some of you are like, what? What do you mean? Um, it is a full-time job. It takes me a very long time to get ready. I have to run bath water, which takes a long time. Then if it's too hot, I have to put cold water in, and then I have to get my bath bombs, and I have to get my oils and my herbs, and I put them all in there, and I have to soak for like 30 minutes. Then I have to make sure that I exfoliate so that my skin is silky smooth, and then I have to wash all of my goodness and mercy and make sure that I'm squeaky clean and then I have to do my makeup which takes me like sometimes two hours to do my makeup. I of course have gotten much better at doing it now but it takes me a very long time to do that. Then I have to fix my hair in whatever style that I'm going for that day and that could take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. And then I have to go to breakfasts and lunches and dinner dates with these people. And then I have my own affairs to care for with my family. So there are several things that I do that you can't necessarily find on Indeed.com. Um, they're not hiring moms on Indeed.com and that is also one of my hats. So as women, we have several, several different hats that we wear, different jobs that we do from day to day. Um, if you are a housewife, that is certainly a job. That means that you're cleaning or you have to hire people to clean. If they don't clean properly. That means you got to rehire. Then you have to make sure that your family has dinner and lunch and food. You have to make sure that the house is well maintained. There's a lot of things that you have to do when you are a housewife. If you are a mother, that is a whole different ballgame because you're nurturing and caring for the future of the entire planet in that you are raising the next generation. So that's a whole job in and of itself. So women across the board, even if we are not going to a facility and sitting there for eight hours a day and then receiving a paycheck for that, we still have duties and responsibilities that we attend to. And I happen to be one of them. Um, being a kept woman does not mean you have to be lazy. It does not mean that you can't be a business owner. I own a few businesses at this point, and it's what I do when I want to do it. I do YouTube sometimes when I'm on to make a video when I get in the mood. 
I um, have a real estate company that I manage and run. I have the Pink Print Academy that I am the headmistress of. So I have several different things that I do, even though I am a kept woman. So don't let anyone make you feel like because you don't want to have a career that's necessarily on Indeed.com that you're lazy. There's nothing lazy about being a kept woman or a kept girlfriend. Nothing. Nothing at all. Don't let people take what you want away from you. If you secretly want to be a kept woman, if you really deep down inside feel like, you know, I don't want to go to work anymore. I don't want to be a doctor anymore. I know I said I wanted to be a police officer, but I don't really know. I know I signed up to be in the military, but I'm not quite sure about this. Don't let people guilt trip you into making you feel like you have to continue on with that career for the rest of your life. You're a woman, so you are totally entitled to change your mind. If you don't want to go down that path anymore, there's always a fork in the road. You can choose a different path. If you really want to be a kept woman, you, there are hundreds, there are any number of jobs that you can find um, to work from home. There's dozens of work from home jobs. You do not have to make money for someone else in order for you to earn money. If earning money is something that you that makes you feel fulfilled, and you know it helps you to sleep better at night by all means get a job if you want to go to a facility and help build the dreams of someone else do that do it twice a day if you want I'm not saying that every woman should be a kept woman what I'm saying is just because I don't have a job that gives me um, a tax return every year does not mean that I don't have a job that is worthy of recognizing, you know. I think that my role is very important. And so is the role of housewives and kept women, kept wives. All of us have unique and different roles. Moms, stay-at-home moms, every one of us has different and unique qualities that we bring to relationships and arrangements and things like that. So I made this video to let all the independent women, all the MGTOW men, all the women who are against this sort of life choice, I made this video for each and every one of you to understand that we definitely have a role in society, in life. We are nurturing femininity. We are growing humans. We are sustaining households. We're running businesses. We are doing loads more than just sitting at home watching soap operas all day. Some ladies do do that, and if they can afford that, you know, hats off to them. But that is not necessarily the role of a kept woman. I just wanted to make this video to make that clear, that just because I stay at home and I don't go to a job, a career on Indeed.com, does not mean that my role in society is any less important than the role of, say, a woman who chooses to be a doctor. Now, I know this video is going to shake some people up. I know that the mean folk are going to come for me in this video, and I'm okay with that. I have put the S on my chest, and I am ready, honey and sirs. So, um, if you disagree with this, if you think it is lazy for a woman not to have a job, if you feel like a woman should contribute to her household, put it in the comments. Let's talk about it because I'm ready. If you feel like women should be celebrated and women should not have to go to work if they don't want to, put that in the comments. I think this is a topic that is worthy of discussion because there are a lot of women who secretly want to stay at home, who don't want to have to go to work, but they go to work because, well, I went to school all this time. I might as well continue going to work. 
or they continue in their career because, well, what is my household going to do? My husband can't sustain this household without my income, so I have to go to work. There are ladies who um, may be younger and your parents are still putting you through college and you've decided, hey, this is a lot more than I wanted to sign up for. I'd just rather just stay at home. You know, there's a lot of ladies who secretly want to be a kept woman but wouldn't dream of even saying it out loud. Believe me, they are all in my email box, all in my DMs on Instagram. Believe me, I hear it a lot. But I'm here to let you know that if this is what you want, go for it. You can make your own career. There's more ways than one to get money. If you want to um, find an alternative way to make money, Google um, work from home positions for stay at home moms or for housewives or something like that. And you'll find, you know, hundreds of thousands of websites that are hiring for people to stay home and work. So you don't have to continue and do the same thing. Here's another secret. You don't even have to work if you don't want to. <laughs> there is plenty of money in the world, in the universe, in the stratosphere, in the wherever we are, in the whole scheme of things, there's plenty of money, plenty of resources to go around. Just because you did not earn the money does not mean that it can't be yours. You can find a quality man to take care of you. You certainly can. You can find alternative ways to make money that are legal, because I know somebody's gonna say I'm suggesting, you know, illegal activity or something on my channel. So things that are legal that you can do to earn money for yourself. There's lots of different ways that you can earn money and you don't have to hate it. You don't. So those are my thoughts. I do have a job, but it's just not on indeed.com. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I give tips on dating, on image, on relationships, and all things in that category. So if you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notifications whenever I upload the newest video. Um, also, if you want to be a member of the Pink Print Academy, don't hesitate to visit my website at www.pinkprintacademy.com where you can click the option to join now and you can come join the party. So that's the video guys. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, my name is Michaela Pink and that's what I think. Bye.